What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet, what can I give him? I can give him my heart. Hello, welcome to First Baptist Church in Clay Center, Kansas. I'm Pastor Matthew Coleman, and I welcome you today to our Ministry Minute for Monday, December 7th, 2020. This week we begin to look at some of the ways that we can use our precious resource time to challenge ourselves to incorporate positive behaviors that will encourage us to grow spiritually and to grow closer to the Lord. Today we begin by challenging ourselves to read the Word of God. In fact, we are challenged to do that in 1 Timothy 4.13, which says, Till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. And of course, in those words, we are reminded of the great importance that reading the Bible, reading God's Word, has in our lives. You know, so very often people go through days and days and days, sometimes weeks and months, without actually taking the time to read the Word of God. But the Word of God is powerful. It changes hearts, it changes minds, it changes lives, individual lives, family lives. It changes communities, states, nations. It changes the world as we allow God to work through the reading of his word. And so this verse, 1 Timothy 4.13, it says to give attention to reading. One of the interesting things about that reading is that it's the idea of the public reading. You know, as we come together, especially as we have services, worship services, Bible studies, we're supposed to read the word of God. Sadly, more and more churches, as they come together, their sermons, what they study, aren't even the Word of God anymore. They find a, a neat and inspiring poem, and they explore that. They learn a financial principle, and they study that. They consider a recipe or a health trend, and they talk about that. No, we as believers in Jesus Christ, we are to study the Word of God. We are to hide it in our hearts. We are to allow it to resonate in our hearts and minds so that it can change us and challenge us and draw us closer to God. In that verse, it also says to exhortation. And that's the idea of comforting. It's the idea of instructing a little bit. And we see that too in the idea of the word doctrine. You know, as we read the word of God, it does change us. It's like holding up a mirror and we look at it and we see where we're different than the Word of God. And so what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to allow the Holy Spirit to change us. So this Christmas season, I know people are so busy, but take time to sit down and to read the Word of God. You know, there are so many fascinating apps nowadays for our phones, and you can get a Bible app that gives you a verse for the day. And you know what, if that's all that you can do, and I believe you really could do more, but if that's all that you can do, it's a great start to contemplate, seriously contemplate, to sit down, to read the word, and then to apply it in your life. What a great gift that would be to give to our great and glorious God. He has given us so much. Let us give back to him this Christmas by taking time daily to read the Word of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. We look forward to seeing you again real soon here at First Baptist Church in Clay Center, Kansas. And do know that we're praying for you and that we pray for your family as well.